on the Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning and other stakeholders have kicked against the implementation of the new Nigeria Customs Service Bill of 2021, which according to the House of Representatives seeks to reposition the Nigeria Customs Service to be financially stable in order to recruit the required number of personnel needed to man the nation's porous borders and boost revenue collection. At a public hearing organized by the House Committee on Customs and Excise, the proposed legislation met with opposition from major stakeholders who are of the opinion that the new law is punitive and does not confirm with international best practices. Our correspondent Aniete Patrick tells us more in this report. This public hearing by the House Committee on Customs and Excise and Stakeholders is organized to address the pros and cons of the passage of a new bill which seeks to repeal the Customs and Excise Management Act 2004 and enact the Nigerian Customs Service Establishment Bill. At the hearing, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Aliu Ahmed, while making his remark, condemned the inconsistencies of the proposed bill with global best practices. The bill is presented seeks to create an autonomous customs regulatory body which is separate from the supervision of the Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning. This is not in line with international best practice as we know it, as custom administration in most developed democracies and indeed our peer developing nations is under the supervision of the Treasury or the federal or the ministry of finance or the ministry responsible for finance or economic management as the case may be on the contrary the speaker of the house of representatives Femi Gajabi Amila, and the chairman of the house committee on customs and excise honorable lake abijde clarified that the bill is to reposition the nigerian customs towards better service delivery and to bridge the gap that has crippled the effectiveness of the service in revenue generation it is also evidence of the need to use the instruments of legislative authority to promote policies and enact mandates to encourage investment, enable commercial activity, and promote enterprise in the country. Ensuring that the Nigerian Customs Service operates optimally in executing its statutory functions without corruption and malfeasance of any sort is essential to achieve these other objectives. And this is what we hope to achieve with the bill under consideration. The Act, its regulations and its operational guidelines are archaic, obsolete, and no longer in tandem with modern day challenges. And this has unfortunately reduced measurably the accrued revenue against the volume of trade in Nigeria. Key stakeholders were, however, not impressed with the new bill. They expressed concern that the proposed legislation contravenes both treaties and protocols on international conventions. Nigeria is a signatory too. A custom and excise management act is a convention. There are protocols and treaties. They are not domestic laws. Nigeria entered into conventions, treaties, and protocols. And what you have in this bill are domestic laws contravening all the protocols and conventions. So this bill does not stand it. It's not a domestic bill. Following the backlash from stakeholders on the viability of the bill as currently drafted, the committee resolved that all submissions will be considered before final reports will be submitted to the House for further legislative action. Anita Patrick, TV360, Abuja.